Good morning. I'm in my little sausage kitchen down here. I want to make some Bratwurst. We call it Thüringer Rostbratwurst in German. And uh, I have here six pound lean meat and six pound fat. Uh, since it's a white bratwurst, this regular salt is table salt, not curing salt. I got here six pound lean meat and put all the spices I've in in the lean meat and the fat I used put the salt in it. First I want to tell you about spices I've in there. Number one I have uh, German bratwurst spices in, they say three gram per pound. I use six gram per pound. I like it a little stronger and the spices are a little old already. So six gram spices, one gram, I add some spices to it, one gram ground fennel, one gram ground caraway seed, one gram accent, <coughs> half a gram hot pepper, I take 20 gram milk powder later on and 2 gram phosphate and a 1 gram myron. I added that to my regular spices. I grind both meat through the 3 millimeter blade twice. I want to mention something short on the fat. This is shoulder fat and jowls. No back fat. The neck fat from the, from the uh, shoulder blade is not in it. Just the, the, lead, the, the side on the where the lead meat is. That's how it looks when it's went twice to the 3 millimeter blade. Now I brought my little buffalo cutter out. It comes with three blades, that's why I use a bratwurst or hot dogs or anything like it. And it comes with two blades, that's when you make hard salami or tea sausage with it. In all conditions that you don't cut it so fast, you don't want to have it binding so much. Now I want to put, I have six pound lean meat, so I want to make twice three pounds. I put. I want to work with 50% ice on the lean meat, so I have one and a half pound ice in here. And then run a few turns. I stop the machine once and you can see how the ice is mixing in very good. I let it go until when I feel it, I can feel very small ice pieces in yet. It's got to be very cold yet because the fat is not that cold. What I did, I mixed the lean of the fat a little bit and I put, put it back in the machine. And now I got to mix it very nice. Now I got my bratwurst finished, it looks very good. I hope I had enough water in, it feels pretty sticky. But now comes the next thing. The machine looks ugly, you got to clean it. And my rule is lately, for 10 years or longer, as soon as I'm done with it, I wash it. Especially this stuff, when that dries on, it's very hard to get off. Now I put them in the sausage stuffer and I put my bratwurst in sheep casings, then they're more tender. Those are the biggest sheep casings I can buy. Everyone 
everybody knows that I go, so I don't have to show much of it. Now I just make some sausage out of it. I don't know what you call it. Just guessing how long. A little more, a little less is no difference. If you have little ones, therefore the guests already have some, and the big ones are for you. Really nothing to it. If you don't tie, fill it too tight. Now I got all the sausage in the casing, that's about 10 pounds. And if you, they normally go in water now for 70 degrees for 15 minutes. And when they come out of the water, that's when they taste the best. They never taste any better. If you want it like that, you can freeze them fresh like this. And then put them on the grill when they're still raw. But since I don't know what I give to other people, I don't want to do that, so I put them all in hot water. Now I get my bratwurst out of the hot water and cool it down a little bit. And I now, I have them on the table, I make them all single. I put the saran wrap out and put this on top. And actually pull it tight so they're nice and tight and both sides over. That's it. Some people might say, oh, that is not good. I do this for over 30 years and I never had a problem. Same with all venison. If you want to put that in a, a silo meal pack, it takes you forever. Cost more money and it's not any better. I actually want to do something different. I want to make bratwurst on a stick. And there was so much work involved, I figured, for what, I can't do it this way. You already know my square bratwurst. I take, make a loaf out of it, like I have here, and cut slices, and have a bratwurst. I have a square bratwurst. But now, if you want to have, a, have it on a stick, how do you take a, bar, uh, a chish kebab stick and put it in, like here, like grill it? You have a bratwurst on a stick. That's the end of my Bratwurst movie today. I hope you try it sometimes. <clears throat> and uh, guten Appetit, good appetite. I freeze them in half. So I don't know when I use it. I can, if I need more, I take two out. But since I'm alone with two people, one most likely is enough. I forgot to say something else. You don't have to make long ones. You can slice them, make long slices and fry it on the grill. Or cut it the other way, make smaller pieces. That's all your choice. The sky is the limit. Good appetit.